you know what? I've been thinking. The 49ers got a big, big, big weakness. And it's pretty obvious. He wears number 10. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back like I never left. What's good with y'all, man? Look, Thursday afternoon, off work, thinking about this game, you know, and how we continue to get disrespected. And as the days go by, the media swell growing on how the the, the, the 49ers are this unstoppable machine. It's, it's hilarious to me. Like, they don't have any flaws. Like, not one. Anyway, <laughs> back to reality. Um, the 49ers have a big, big, big glaring weakness. And no, I'm not talking about the secondary. I'm talking about Jimmy Garoppolo. Yes, the same Jimmy Garoppolo that prompted them to draft a quarterback and trade multiple future picks to draft said quarterback. Yeah, the one that no one really believes in. You know, the one that the fan base is totally behind right now after the comeback last week against a Rams defense that was trash. A Rams defense that just signed Eric Weddle. The same Eric Weddle that's about to be, I think he's 40. About to be 40, gray in the beard, off the street, and is about to start. That bad Rams secondary. Outside of Jalen Ramsey, they are trash. Yeah, that comeback. It's a little bit being overrated by the media. You know, just to make the Cowboys look bad narrative. Just another one. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, Jimmy G. The same Jimmy G everybody's worried about making throws. The one that they're saying they need to keep his actual attempts down. Force the running game. Things like that. That Jimmy G. The weakness of the 49ers. See, the Rams forced Jimmy G to go away um, to throw outside of Ramsey against that bad secondary. And he was able to beat him last week. But more often than not this year, he hasn't been able to beat a lot of people. See, he has, what, 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, pedestrian numbers, very, very pedestrian. See, he has false confidence, false bravado. But one team he is confident against is the Rams. The Niners own the Rams. I don't know how many times they've beaten him in a row in the last three or four years, but one thing Jimmy G does do is beat the Rams. And congrats to that. We own our division too. Ownership. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what it looks like when you own a team. And I can see Jimmy G does that. Now let's look at Jimmy G versus everybody else. That's the crux of the whole matter. Because see, he don't do that against everybody else. If he did, I wouldn't be making this video. See, Jimmy G has a lot of pressure on this week. A lot. You know, and people say, he's playing with house money because he already knows he's going to leave. Not necessarily. See, Jimmy G plays well enough, then he could get a new contract and stay with the Niners. Very highly unlikely, though. So he's more than likely playing for his next job. Now, see, if he plays trash, if he plays trash, then he's going to end up in Washington. <laughs> Maybe the Giants. You know, a franchise like that. You know, um, maybe even the Browns. I don't know. Like, Jimmy G plays just okay. He's going to end up in a middling franchise. Possibly even a backup. You know. Um, but if he plays well, he could stand to end up as a Steeler. Or maybe end up as a Denver Bronco. You know, teams that are talking about we're player away. You know, and that's a story for another day. My point is the pressure for Jimmy G is there. See, <clears throat> because his comfort level sinks when he's playing other teams. See, the 49ers are 10-7. and 7. I know the media doesn't want you to know that. But they've lost plenty of games this year. Got swept by the Seahawks and slept by the, swept by the Arizona Cardinals. And I know you'll say, well, the, the Cowboys didn't beat the Cardinals neither. We all know that a whole lot of refing that was terrible. We know the, we know the vibes. Is why we lost that game. But it's fine. It's all good. Needed all that to beat us by three. That's neither here nor there. Um, the Seahawks, who were extra terrible, 
swept them as well. Um, and that's just divisional stuff. Because that only counts for four losses. Some other teams got some W's too. But they don't want to talk about that. See, Debo Samuel's great. George Kittle's great. Bosa's great. And I've been down the line of we got players that match them. And we do. You know. But the one player you can't hide, you can't hide a bad quarterback for so long. Because eventually, he's going to have to throw. And that's where Micah Parsons comes in. See, Micah's right. Micah came out a couple days ago talking about, you know, I think it was yesterday. You know, you bully bullies. You know, our job is to stop the run on first and second down. Put them in throwing downs. Make third down a crucial down for Jimmy G to earn that money with that messed up thumb that they're going to bring up after we win this game. Oh, they're going to bring it up. They're going to be like, yo, man, you know his thumb wasn't right. You know, Trent Williams wasn't quite right. If he do play, because he didn't play last week, I didn't know that. You know, if he do play, it's, it's Trent Williams' elbow and they, they, a whole bunch of stuff. Eliza Mitchell wasn't quite right, you know, so the 49ers was limping. Now, now I don't hear that this week. I'm hearing that we just going to get dominated by Thanos. That's why I'm wearing the Marvel t-shirt. Shout out to the 49ers. Apparently the Thanos of the NFL. They just can't be stopped. Anyway, you know, you knew. I, I wear this to, to represent my squad. You know, you know the Cowboys give it up because Thanos lost. Um, anyway, Jimmy Garoppolo being put in those conditions, put in that third down um, to make, you know, third and seven, third and 10, third and 11, third and 15, those types of throws is important because he's going to give you the ball. He's going to make some mistakes. Don't get it twisted. Don't let his lower interception um, – count make you think that he's just careful with the ball no he just doesn't throw that much you know that's why he's sub four thousand yards and only 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 20 touchdowns in a year they don't want him to throw and that's fine that's fine jimmy g is going to meet the person that a lot of these quarterbacks have met this year realizing that i didn't know he was that fast he got up on me way faster than i thought michael parsons the game wrecker the game changer or as he likes to call himself now the lion backer which i think is kind of dope but um yeah, man, Micah's right, and the 49ers, like I said, whether they want to admit it or not, their biggest weakness is not their secondary, and their secondaries can be had, especially with our receiving core and our quarterback. No question they can be had. Great pass rush, though, but that secondary is susceptible, and we're going to see. You know, y'all keep talking about Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk like we don't got receiving weapons. Like Cowboys just, I don't know how we became the first team in the league in offense. I don't know. It was an accident. You know, all that slumping, and we still number one, but it's confusing to me. Anyway, anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about what I consider the biggest weakness of Thanos. You know, I guess it's one of the Infinity Stones, the fact that Jimmy G can't throw. But y'all, y'all tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm tripping or if I'm just hating, because I know how I feel. It's your boy, Mr. Run. Oh, and I think I'm going live twice tonight. Come, come, come find me on my boy Big Game James channel. Um, I think we're going on at about 9 Eastern. I think I'm going to go live myself at around 8 Eastern. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do it that way. Do a little live hour for myself and jump on and do an uh, uh, hour or so with my boy Big Game James. And I think my boy Jay Tuck and Boss Cowboy will be there. Y'all come rock with us, though. It's your boy, Mr. Ron. I'll holler.